Hey family, I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasa, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa, as well as the Creole Grill Test. Guys, I'm at my storage unit in Galveston, Texas, and I'm trying to slowly by slowly, before this month is out, like an ant, empty this storage unit. I'm telling you, I've been having stuff in storage since I cleared out the house when the electrical system was changed out. And that's been some years ago, y'all. Sometimes when we put stuff away, it is so much effort to take it out, you know, of things like storage. I guess it's like having things in our lives that is hard to get rid of. You have to think of what you're going to do. Lighting you know? is changing in here, so I decided to just let it readjust to the inside of here. But anyway, y'all, see the little carts they have in here? But anyway, this is like climate controlled. It's actually feel better in the storage unit. <laughs> Didn't have my house. <laughs> well, my climate is not controlled in my part of the house. Oh, y'all, that's the way it is. Life, you know? But I'm getting ready to go back to the gambler, y'all. And y'all know I'm limited on income, so I have to cut down on something. And the storage unit is one of the things I decided to eliminate. So pray for me, y'all, for my strength, <laughs> that I get this place emptied out before the end of the month. <sighs> and then after that, I'll decide how to let it go, whether it donated through other organizations or put it on these sites where people buy it online. We'll see y'all, cause I'm not good at that. You know, some people just still so old school. I'm one of the old school people. I'll mark my storage unit. Not gonna let nobody see the number, but just the idea. Gotta work on some stuff, huh? Oh, guys, not including my purse. That's the purse that I actually brought here. The other stuff is what I'm gonna bring back to the house to decide what I'm gonna do with it. Well guys, I stopped off at the some used to be dollar store <laughs> to get me a Coke Zero and no, I'm not getting reimbursed by no Coca-Cola people. But anyway, after I got that stuff out of storage, I felt like drinking something. But anyway, y'all, <clears throat> I'm gonna go sit down on the beach for a minute and see if I can talk to y'all about a little something, something. You know how when things be on my mind, I just wanna say a little something about it. So, hold on, hold on. All right guys, I ended up in one of my favorite spots in Galveston. It's on the east end. Look at that y'all, the sun is going down. So the sky is just so pretty y'all. Sometimes the best things in life are definitely free and you can definitely enjoy things wherever you are in this world, y'all. This is a beautiful world. Unfortunately, it's some stuff that's not so beautiful, but y'all just focus, just focus on finding that beautiful spot where you are. Share it with me. Post pictures, y'all, on y'all social media. And let me know so I can check it out, all right? Let me turn this camera around. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk toward that beautiful light over there. I'm trying my best to show y'all slowly when I'm looking at it so y'all can see some of the beautiful sights that I'm seeing while I'm walking. Looks like lots of people is looking at the sun going down and looking at the boats out there in the water, looking at the beautiful birds. There's just so many things to see out here, y'all. You just be trying to focus in on what in particular you want to see at this sundown time. You know, look at that. That light is just so beautiful. I'm gonna walk down a little further and see if I can see a little bit better. 
happened at sundown. Let me see. Try to show y'all something, some of the other scenery while I'm walking down to the edge. This is it. There it is. I'm so happy that I got to get a good spot before it finished going down. It's beautiful, y'all, like a postcard. I had to do a, a couple of steals, y'all. I couldn't resist it. It's just so beautiful. Look at that water down there. It's just moving so nice and slowly while the sun is setting. Rises in the east, sets in the west. Even though I'm on the east side of the island, it's a good view of the sun going down on the west anyways. Hope y'all enjoying this. I can barely see it from here. The sun is almost gone. This is a surprise, y'all. I wasn't even expecting on recording this. That's it, y'all. Now it's actually matching what I'm seeing. Well, this is the beautiful natural scenery that's surrounding it. The people was watching too. This is the other side of the place that I saw sundown, sunset. <laughs> Lots of cars out here. Well, guys, y'all got to see sunset with me on Galveston Island. Get to see the beautiful sky after the sun set just so beautiful y'all all those warm colors i'm telling you the most high is good yes the most high is good but anyway how y'all doing today no matter where y'all are in the world i hope y'all had a wonderful and marvelous day i hope y'all weekend is gonna be fabulous and that y'all are enjoying it. The only thing I have to say is I've been watching some videos where people been losing their mind and <laughs> acting so juvenile. I just have to say, y'all know, y'all not gonna hear me acting like that, whether I'm in the USA and Galveston or in the sister country and sister cities in the Gambia, I would not be acting like that. It's not my personality, y'all. 
And I gotta say, I am Habasia. Habasia is my passion. And Habasia, for those who don't know, is helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. And right now, the focus is on the Gambia. We are working on growing a food forest, y'all. Yeah, a beautiful food forest. We already have the local well dug. Just got to bring up some of the fencing to keep those cows out and put a local gate on. We're doing it slowly by slowly as we get funding. And just to let y'all know, if y'all want to donate through PayPal directly through Habasia, you can do that now by going to our website. The information is in the description box down below. And I will put it in the little subtitles so y'all will see the information. But yeah, I figured out how to add a PayPal button today. And that receipt will show that you donated directly to Habasia. And you can use that when you're preparing your taxes. We are a 501c3 organization. So what you donate can be used for a tax deduction. Yes, it can. Whatever amount you donate though will be greatly appreciated. Yes, it will. Our brothers and the sisters in the Gambia are learning how to use permaculture for food sustainability. That is something we all need to work on worldwide. I hope y'all are working on your gardens wherever you are so you won't have to worry about if it have food on the shelves at the grocery store or not. You'll know that you still got some food out there that you can go harvest out of your garden or that you saved some at your house through whatever process so you can still eat. But anyway, guys, please do not buy any land online. <laughs> it's just some advice. I'm not getting paid to tell y'all anything different. And even if somebody would try that, I wouldn't. Because I know the best thing for anybody to do is go to a country first and see the land themselves, learn all of the laws of the land on buying real estate and go through a real estate attorney before they even sign on the dotted line so that they could make sure that the land will be free and clear for them in a timely fashion. And y'all don't ask me nothing about my land. <laughs> When it's free and clear, I'll tell y'all. <laughs> but I'm just trying to help y'all out so y'all don't end up like me. But anyway, while we're working on the food forest, we don't really have to worry about that kind of a stuff. When you're doing the will of the Most High, everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to work out. I know that 100%. It's all good, cause the Most High got us. We'll be all good, y'all. Till next time, just wanted to check in, say hello, let y'all see part of my beautiful island, <laughs> and tell y'all, <laughs> before y'all move anywhere in the world, anywhere, plan on what having income when you get there don't just live off of your savings and don't plan on having quote income property because you have to realize you got to pay for this income property first <laughs> before any income comes in and look how many years you'll have to have that property paid for 
before you even break even. Just think about how much it's going to cost you from day to day to live there and be comfortable. You know? Just saying, as they say. I'm just saying. Save your money. Don't go nowhere broke. Don't be dependent on nobody else to subsidize your move, no matter where you're moving to in the world. I surely don't even expect people to even support my nonprofit organization. I know one day the Most High will move upon the correct people to donate, to help support. But in the meantime, I will do whatever is needed to slowly by slowly do whatever we can do with whatever I got. Nonprofits can work on a very small basis, but even can work better when other people see the good works and want to become part of the good works. It's never a one woman show or a one man show, not a nonprofit organization, y'all. But anyways, not gonna bore you guys. I just wanted to let y'all see some more. This background, y'all, it's like you couldn't even make this up. <laughs> so until next time, y'all, peace, peace, power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.